Hi Scorpio, welcome to your November love reading. Please only take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If this is your love story, comment below. And if not, you can always check your other zodiac placements for messages you need to hear. Other than that, please remember to like this video, share and subscribe for future readings. So before we get started, first of all, happy birthday season, Scorpio. I hope you are enjoying your time to shine. And of course, thank you so much to all of my subscribers and members of the channel for your love and support. It is so appreciated. But if you want to dive into your own personal love story, you can always book a private reading with me and all of the details you need are listed in the description box below. So before we get into it, remember this is a general love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Crotch Watchers of Scorpio. So please reverse roles however you see fit and only take what resonates with you, okay? So the card that's coming out for the overall energy between you and this person is meant to be. So we've got we've got Ross and Rachel, okay? So for those of you who don't know, for those of you who are unaware of friends and the way things play out in that show, they are meant to be, okay? They're each other's lobsters. They are endgame. And it's important to note that in this scene, okay, spoiler alerts, in this scene, they are returning back to their hotel room from being married, okay? They got married in Vegas. They did it while they were completely wasted, okay? So, You've got Ross with his name written on his forehead with cat whiskers and a nose and Rachel has a mustache drawn on her in Sharpie and uh, they started off this trip with hard feelings, okay? There was a lot of animosity, um, there was this energy of, you know, being at odds with one another and they were arguing, they were trying to do things to upset one another and get under each other's skin. But at the end of the day, you know, obviously our true intentions, the truth comes out when we are inebriated, intoxicated, and they end up walking down the aisle and getting married <laughs> Uh, in Vegas, okay? So no matter what's going on between you and this person, Spirit is here to remind you that it is meant to be, okay? Whatever it is, it's meant to be with this person. Um, and I would go so far as to say that you and this person are end game, okay? So that is how we are opening up this reading. Let's get into the tarot. Let's find out more about this person who they are, what energy is um, is relevant here. What is this person's energy? Ah, the Page of Cups. So as I said, if you and this person have been at odds with one another, they... Underneath all of that, they do have feelings, okay? They they are very much emotionally attached to you, and maybe they don't show it, okay? And this person might even owe you an apology, or again, vice versa. Um, and I love how we also have the crab here crawling down by the sand, so that could even be going even further. This person might be, um, you know, acting like they have a hard exterior and, you know, don't really want to reveal all of what's on their heart, but the Page of Cups is an emotional confession. It is, um... An apology. It is the beginning of a romantic connection. There is also this energy of naivety or immaturity that comes along with the Page of Cups. So if this person is sort of holding back how they really feel and only um, <laughs> subtly hinting at how deep their emotion is for you, it's probably because they still have a little growing up to do, okay? So that is their energy. And let's find out how they're thinking and feeling about you and this connection. Yeah, so... <laughs> So we've got the judgment card in the reverse, and then we've also got the chariot. So in their thoughts, I mean, they're really focused on possibly a decision that they've made in the past that they know wasn't the right choice, okay? They could also be afraid of being judged, um, but I know judgment to be spirit tooting that horn, okay? Similar to this crow squawking 
And as you can see, we've got this like medical symbol in the back. So I think this person could, this person could have their feelings hurt a little bit based on uh, a decision that was made in the past, like I said, and spirit has been alerting them to that fact, trying to bring this connection back around to be mended, okay, to be healed. And we've got the chariot in their heart space. So clearly this person knows deep down that the universe is pushing them in your direction, all right? It is, it's movement, it's action. And I think this person, they know in their heart that in order to be with you, they first would need to be balanced. Their heart and their mind need to be in the right place before they can follow the flow of the energy back home to you, okay? And I say back home because the chariot represents the emperor coming back home to the empress, okay? So I do feel this person is aware of some decisions in the past that were not the best, okay? They possibly feel that they could be um, being judged by you or by others or just by the universe, okay? And so I think ultimately they know that the energy is prompting them to move things forward. We even have the wreath in the background of that card. And for those of you who know the Crow Tarot, the wreath is symbolized in the world card. So it's almost like this person knows that you're the one that will complete them, that in order to, to complete this cycle of their journey, they first need to, again, gain that balance. Uh, we also have the clouds that have these lightning bolts coming down from them. So this person could be sort of hiding how they feel a little bit to avoid uh, tower moments, uh, trying to fly above and beyond the clouds and avoid that energy. But you know, obviously we need to experience the tower before we can get to the world or the completion of the fool's journey. So I think this person right now is still trying to work out how they really feel, possibly having some awakenings and revelations about, you know, again, their decisions. And the process that it's going to take to get back to you, okay? So their likely actions moving forward are the three of cups. So I see this again. Look at that. The wreath. It's popping up yet again. This person, they know that in order to feel complete, they need to reconcile with you or reunite with you. And for some of you, this could definitely have involved a third party situation. And again, I'm thinking of Ross and Rachel and the, we were on a break. Like, <laughs> Regardless of the, the actual circumstances, there could have been a third party that kind of got in the way and created that dissonance um, or those odds that we talked about. But I see this also as a card of friendship and trust and celebration. So I do think this person is very much so going to take action on bringing that reunion into fruition, okay? So the likely outcome here based on this person's desire oh the king of cups i gotta say i i enjoy this very much scorpio and again this is your energy right similar to the page of cups but you know the fish is out of the cup symbolically speaking, right? You can see the fish is being thrown back to the ocean. We've got this uh, ship in the background. And I feel that, again, it's very symbolic. There is a ship that has sailed. And I think this person has grown up a lot based on their experience with you. I think this person has matured. I think that they are hoping that they can somehow come forward and reveal how they really feel from a place of maturity. And uh, I do think too that this person is very much so in their feelings, okay? They're very much so in their feelings and I think their desire here is to move forward and go on that journey with you. But remember you guys, the King of Cups does hold back until they are sure, so seeing as this is the potential outcome based on this person's desires, their hopes, their dreams, 
I do feel that this person wants to live up to their true potential and they want to save that cup of love for the one that truly um, that truly deserves it the most, okay? So Scorpio, I think this person has always known that it was meant to be with you. I think they've been holding on to their love for you and the more and more time that goes by, the fuller and fuller that cup becomes. So we've also got a couple of cards here with moons in the top of the card. And we know that moons do symbolize emotion, also fears and secrets. So I think... <laughs> I really don't think it's a secret at all. I think that this person might think that they're being secretive or they might hope that their true intentions and desires are not so visible on their sleeve. But I, I know that this person wants to be able to come towards you in the energy of a king, someone who is capable of being emotionally vulnerable, someone who isn't afraid of sharing that cup of love. But again, we know the King of Cups isn't afraid of love. They are just cautious about who they share that cup with based on their experiences. So going back to what I said about the Three of Cups, this person could have definitely had a third party influence and learned a lot of lessons, right? We saw the judgment card in the reverse. This person could have chosen someone else over you and recognize now what a huge mistake that was. So if the universe is bringing back this connection to be healed, to be mended, then this person knows that they need to show up at your door at their fullest potential. They need to show up at your door mature and ready to be open, ready to share their heart, ready to be, um, again, allowing themselves to be open with you and share their love, not just give you bits and pieces, not just say, oh yeah, you know, I care about you. No, it's deeper than that with this person. So their desire is to possibly, again, with this fish being released back to the ocean, this person could even have had a grudge against you or tried to uh, project their own faults onto you, blaming you for... Um, for how things transpired, but I think this person is is hoping to be um, is hoping to be someone that's capable of taking accountability for their role and how things played out. And so, letting go of that fish to me is like symbolically letting go of that grudge um, and recognizing that they too are responsible um, because you know they had free will. It wasn't all just you. It wasn't you know, just the universe, they made their decisions and they made their bed. So I think if this person is coming back around with that energy, uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to give them a second chance. Okay. So keep that in mind. That is their desire. That is their, um, potential outcome based on the energy they're in now. But we're going to see what spirit wants us to know about what's challenging this person. What is their challenge? The star. Okay, so you guys, what I'm getting from this card is this person, I think, might be afraid of getting everything that they've hoped and wished for. Um, you know, maybe this person has a fear that once they get their wish, that it won't be, you know, that they won't be able to hold on to you or that you will realize that they're not as special as they want to be perceived. But this card is also about healing. It's also about hope and renewal. So their challenge is to do just that. We saw with that medical symbol in the judgment card, they're very focused on healing and mending the situation. So if this is the challenge, this could then bring you into question saying, are you willing to give this person a second chance? Are you willing to heal this connection with this person or has that ship already sailed? Okay. So, um, so yeah, it, Scorpio, if you're watching this reading and you're thinking, you know, this, my wish and my hope and my dream is to heal and, and mend this connection, then uh, I think spirit is telling you that there's nothing to fear, okay? A dream is a wish your heart makes, is it not? So if your heart is really into this connection and if your heart really knows that this is the person that you want to be with, then this shouldn't be a challenge at all, okay? But again, if we're talking about this person, then they could be afraid that their efforts will not be enough 
to heal this, to renew it, or to get what it is that they're truly wishing for, which again, I feel is sharing their love with you. So that is the question here for you, Scorpio, at the end of this reading. Are you willing to... to reconcile are you willing to allow this person to come back in after everything that's happened and you know again not to spoil friends or anything but this show has been out for so long if you haven't already seen it I have a feeling you don't intend to so um you know Ross and Rachel went through hell and back right and even in that scene we saw that was only in season five all right and and it gets worse and it gets better and it gets worse and it gets better. Like it is a roller coaster ride for Ross and Rachel, but in the end, they are end game. So it's all about what you're willing to, um, what you're willing to do, what you're willing to accept. And again, if this person is coming through with just that page of cups energy and you're waiting for that king of cups, then it's okay for you to say, you know what? I don't think that you're ready. I don't think that we're ready, right? Maybe this person does have some growing up to do, but everyone's specific story is going to be different, okay? So let's get some messages from the Mercury Edition 8 and see what this person would like to say to you. All right, so... Yep, what I say, we got, I want you back, okay? This person wants you back. They want to be with you. They want to make things right. And, you know, they know they're going to need to come in correct. They're going to need to be changed. They're going to need to have grown from the last time that you guys gave it a try or from the last experience that the two of you had together. We also have, you've been the only person who's never hurt me. So they know how loving you are. They know that you want the best for them, that you don't want them to be hurting. And I think this person actually hurt themselves. Okay, I have a feeling this person did make a bad decision or again, chose someone else over you. And they do not feel right about that. It's not sitting well with them. And they're getting reminders from the universe about it consistently. We also have, I was thinking of you last night, okay? So if you were feeling this person's energy, then it's because you were heavy on their mind. We also have, I want to spoil you with gifts. So yeah, you know, this person, again, I think they've had like a come to Jesus moment where they've understood that you deserve so much more than what they were giving before, that you deserve to be spoiled. You deserve to be... Um, the object of their affection, okay? And again, it's your birthday season, so this person may end up showing up with a gift to try to make up for the decisions and the mistakes of the past. And then also we've got, I don't like anyone giving you attention on your pictures. So on your pictures or just in general in life, right? You might be getting some attention right now um, from other suitors from other people and it's it's sort of putting a little fire under that booty okay it's making them realize like you know you're you're a prize you are someone worthy of attention and if they're not going to give it to you well you're definitely going to be getting it from others okay so there could be a little bit of a jealousy there sparking their their interest in becoming a better version of themselves, all right? And isn't that what these journeys are about? We are the inspiration for the divine masculines, right? I'm speaking to divine feminines out there, but we are the divine inspiration for them to become the best version of themselves, okay? So I do think that this person is noticing others looking your way and it's making them feel that need to come in correct, all right? So Scorpio, hopefully that resonated with you. I hope that it did. And if this was not your story, like I said, you can always book a personal reading with me where we can dive into your situation um, and really tap into the energy of you and your person. But other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your birthday season. I love you guys and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.